Well, today we're gonna to be working on the gel coat and this is gonna be part 14. And of course I forgot to do an intro again. So I'm sitting here trying to edit it, trying to get it up and going and I'm just in a rush. But anyway, so we're trying to get the gel coat on the boat and I have made a crucial error and it has cost me probably two weeks. And it's kind of, it really hurt my videoing because I was getting so frustrated because I could not figure it out for the life of me. And I knew exactly what it was. I knew the process that I skipped that I didn't do that was crucial to this gel coat. And I didn't do it and it bit me in the butt. And now I'm trying to edit this and put it together and piece it together from filming frustrated. It's biting me in the butt again. I've got to learn to just slow down and think about what I'm doing, but you know, that's life. It's hard. And when you're really trying to get crunched on a project, because this boat's got to go in the water in like a couple weeks, we're heading to the beach, but boat's supposed to be on the trailer, got a house on the canal and I'm getting, I'm feeling the pressure. So, and you know, I shouldn't have got myself into this situation. I shouldn't have let myself get there, but I did. And now I'm, it just is what it is. But I hope you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you haven't seen all the other skiff builds, go back and check those out. Well, let's get into it. Well, it's finally time to get a little color on this thing. Went ahead and colored some gel coat with black gel coat. And I think it's gonna turn out pretty dang good. I think it'll look good. So I went ahead and did about a half a gallon. I wanted to go ahead and mix up a big batch that way I can do the whole console and the transom and it'll all be exactly the same color. I don't know if it's just fiberglass supply depot gel coat. I don't know if it's just the brand, if it's something I'm doing. I don't know, but I cannot get it to set without doubling the hardener, 4% hardener. So that's what I've been doing and I'm done fighting it. And that's what I'm gonna do from now on. All right, well, here goes the first bit of color on the boat. Uh -huh. Question is, how many coats is it gonna take? I'm gonna probably do, I don't know, it may take three, because the, to fill in all the pinholes normally takes a lot. <laughs> Man, it looks so different. This thing's been white all my life. I think it's been white since I was at least, I think five or six when my dad first got this thing. <laughs> oh, it's gonna look different. That's crazy. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, there is absolutely nothing like a paint job to bring out the imperfections. <laughs> They're there, just don't look too close. But we got the transom, one coat on the transom, and now what I'm gonna do is the transom and the console. And I'm gonna worry about the sides and the deck later. But right now, I wanna do, just get that out of the way. That way I can go ahead and slap the motor on if I need to, cause I'm getting crunched for time and the deck needs to be done all in one. And then I'll probably do the sides after I do the deck. That way any splatter or anything that gets on the deck won't be a big deal because it's going to be a non-skid anyway. So I think that's the way I'm going to go with it. And that way I'm not rubbing all up on the sides and scratching anything up whenever I'm doing the deck. Well, we're finally getting ready to put the finished coat on. And this stuff's got me about confused as I'll get out. But it says nothing about adding MEPK unless you're going to make a tooling gel coat blend. So I don't know if it technically needs it. I've been trying to Google it and figure out if anything on it. And everything I've read says add MEPK. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if it's right. We're just gonna give it a test batch. Actually, I'm gonna probably, knowing myself, I'll take the whole thing and then we'll have a problem. But I'm gonna go ahead and try on the transom first and see if it tacks, what it does. And hopefully, because I just want to do the transom, the console, and the outside with this. I don't know if this will be enough, but we'll see. It's supposed to leave a high gloss finish. I don't know. All right, well, I finally, I don't know why I didn't do this to begin with. I went to the website and it spelled it out pretty much. 
it's an air dry additive. You don't need any PK. But I have been having a heck of a time with this gel coat, making sure it sets. It seems like every other batch I mix does not set properly. And I've been adding more MEPK than it recommends, and it sets just fine. So I'm gonna mix this up, and I'm gonna put MEPK. I don't know if you're supposed to, whatever, we're gonna try it. All right, well, I can tell you one thing. I know this is probably supposed to be sprayed, but I'm not gonna go out and buy compressor to do it because mine just it'll spray little areas but it's not gonna do it for this and you know it just is what it is but this stuff is so thin it's just like water but you never know sometimes things work out we're gonna hope this is one of those times so I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to tape off and not put this on that so the gel coat doesn't completely cure so that's probably a waste of time but it's gonna cover a lot more that's for sure because it is so thin but boy is it <laughs> oh my god why do I do this to myself I do know it is M-E-K-P, not M-E-P-K. But for some reason, my brain will not get it out. It won't let me get it out. It always is M-E-P-K. And it's always gonna be that way, I guess. I've tried, I think about it all the time, but it just comes out whenever I say it. That's just what comes out, so. And I don't think, as thin as this stuff is, I don't think I'm gonna tip it. I should, but I don't think I'm gonna. Huh? That's a little more glossy. took off all the decals, sanded everything down with 220, and I washed everything. And I went ahead and washed the entire outside. I got the Duratec in there and it definitely thins it out quite a bit. But it's still, it's, it won't go through my gun good. It may have just been also because my gun was really dirty and I just cleaned it really, really well, took it all apart and scrubbed it all to pieces. It was still just a touch thick and I've been reading on it. <sighs> You're not really supposed to thin it with styrene. It says it can mess up the coloring and more than 20% will cause fish eyes 100% of the time. That's pretty much what it said, what I've read. But I'm gonna do exactly 20% and that's, I think it's gonna work out good. It should go through my gun really nice. And I've got half Duratec. Three ounces is kind of mixed a little bit. I've got three ounces of gel coat, three ounces of Duratec, and I'm gonna mix that up real good. So, but it seems to just flow out a lot better. And I know you're not supposed to add styrene to Duratec. I read that and I know, but I've dicked up everything else on this boat and done it twice. So why not do the outside as well? For the MEKP, I'm doing about seven and a half cc's for six ounces. When I added the styrene, it's actually seven, but I'm, I assume I'm going to go off the ratio of gel coat to Duratec. I don't think you need to harden styrene. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with, the seven and a half cc's, which is actually more than you're supposed to use, but that is the only way I've been able to get this stuff to set up.
I'll tell you what, I don't think it turned out too bad. You can definitely tell a humongous difference when the sun hits it. I really like the way the color turned out and spraying it is definitely the way to go. I mean, it looks way better sprayed than it does roll. That's for sure. So the color turned out really nice. It's a little dirty right now, but I mean, it definitely looks way better than it did. I'm just, I guess I'm gonna have to pull it out in the sun at some point in the next video and actually get a decent picture of the paint. But I mean, it looks really good, I think. Yeah, well, I guarantee you that some of you already know. And I knew. I knew because I, I mean, I, I researched for hours and hours before I started this. And the real debate was do I want to use gel coat? Because most of the, all, all of my work was done with epoxy. And everyone knows epoxy does, well, not everyone, but most people who have done this know epoxy creates a byproduct of amine blush. And in my mind, I knew I used slow, I used the slow non-blush everywhere. Well, I forgotten I had ran out and I ended up using a medium and a fast for patching some holes. And I think the last coat that I had to do on the transom of the fairing compound I mixed up was with a fast hardener, which is a blush hardener. And the inside of the console as well. And it just didn't even, I was in such a rush, it didn't even daunt it on me. As I knew, I had to wash it down and scrub it really good with Dawn dish soap and an abrasive pad like a Scotch Brite or something and preferably warm water. And I don't know why it just completely ellipsed my mind, but it cost me about two weeks. It took me literally two weeks to figure it out. And I even ended up, I had convinced myself it was the gel coat. And I ended up calling the supplier and, you know, reaching out to them, trying to see if they could give me any tips and if they had had any issues, anything. And the guy contacted me and I talked to him. He was super nice, super helpful. And the fiberglass supply depot has great customer service. The guy talked me to me for like 20 minutes one day. And I mean, he's like, well, what are you using? What, what did you use to build your console and everything? And I said, well, I use, I use epoxy. Oh, well, you got to get the blush off. And it just hit me. And it was like a train of bricks. Because I, I just realized I had completely forgot that. And it just, it was stupid. And it's just what I do when I get in a hurry. My brain goes crazy. I'm thinking about all these things I got to do. Now I got to get it done. And the little things always come back and bite you. So... It's a learning experience. And I guarantee you, I will never forget that again. So, you know, it is what it is. I hope you'll learn from my mistakes. And I thought about editing it out and not even putting this in there, but I was like, no, I can't do that. I gotta be honest and share my full experience. And it was, it was an experience, let me tell you. And I hope you're liking these videos. And I'm trying to, I'm really trying to learn editing. That's one thing where I struggle because I'm not a tech savvy guy whatsoever. I've honestly, this is, I, I bought this laptop just pretty much to do this and my wife uses it. And I, I, this is the first laptop I've ever personally owned. So if that tells you anything about my tech savviness. So it, the editing a little, is a little bit of a struggle. It takes me longer probably than most people. And I'm trying to get better at it. I want to be able to make better videos. And I tried a few different things in this one. Let me know what you think. And I hope everybody likes the videos. Please subscribe. And I appreciate all those who already have. <laughs>